Well guys, welcome to the wing in it show. You see that beaver right there? It's causing chaos for me. I'm working on my property here and trying to get this water to go down. This water level is just keeping my felt my field swamped. I've got slew wieners growing and I can't figure out what's going on with all this water. It just keep on getting to my grasslands and then I did a little scouting and now I found a reason why everything is just keeping on flowing on my land Bob the Builder is just having at her all day long so I think I just saw him go along that little canal there that's what I got this canal that goes around my land so my runoff doesn't go across it. So now we're going to do a little dispatch. I gave him a chance last week, came here, opened the dam. I figured, you know what, you have your way, I'll have my way. This is my water flow. There's a couple hundred acres of swamp back there. He can go nest there, but oh no, he did not have anything of it. So we brought the tact cam along and then the FTS through the phone scope. So we're going to shoot this beaver and I'm going to film it. You guys can see some footage how it looks. It's a Tacticam 5.0, 8 times zoom. Oh, we got a deer going right there. Hey, beauty. What's the chance she probably had her, has her fawn in that grass there. I got a nice little herd of deer sitting on my alfalfa here, so little nuggets in the back of the woods. Anyways, we're gonna pick up this dam here, open it up. And then when Bob the Builder comes along this little canal here, we're gonna use the 17 HMR and drill another little hole in his head. And you guys can watch it. First hand dibs. <laughs> Might get a little bloody, kids. Ooh. It's cold, boys. Oh, this thing doesn't come and start chowing on my legs. Must be part of Mennonite the way this guy's been logging. We got a wiener stick. Pretty good way of these beaver got this dam engineer. They put these big logs facing branches towards the dam that way. If the pressure comes and starts pushing it, pushes against these trees and then it holds it back. The breaking the dam up is pretty tough. So we all got, we got these big logs that are causing chaos. Get it a little damage to his waterway. Yeah. 
Easy. Should be good. Whew. That was a little workout, but we got it done. I think we'll just have to sit and wait now. He'll show up here any minute wondering where his water's going. You can see it's starting to flow pretty fast. It's pretty deep as well. I was impressed how much that dam hold back. But if I don't shoot this beaver, he'll have everything dammed up by tomorrow anyway. So those things work pretty pretty hard workers those beaver are anyways we'll sit down on a quad try to get our breath and shoot this little bobby Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One logger won't be down in my fields. Doing a little paddling. Well, it looks like the water level dropped about a foot. I sat here for an hour. He came back with some twigs. He wanted to build his bannock dam again. And oh no, the 17 HMR just took him out like a door to the face. Anyways, we're going to get him out and see how big he is. I was, I heard him chomping in the background there i think he was cutting down some trees to haul up here but i threw a little wrench in his plans so that was good i filmed it on the fts so should be good footage well guys thanks for watching it's just going to be a little short video but look at that sunset going right through the clouds there it's awesome but that's it for today. We took care of that little beaver and we'll see if he's the only guy that's running around here or if we got more. But for now, that's uh, the only one we're gonna shoot today. But he's still, uh, he's actually a decent sized beaver. I didn't, at first I underestimated him. He's, he's a good, good chunk, chunk of meat right there, but yeah, for those guys that don't know, landowners can't shoot beavers on their private property. So, just to make sure you guys don't get all excited about poaching around here, this is my property. So, he was doing a little damage, so I had to take care of him. So, for now, that's all. If you like these kind of videos, outdoor stuff, just subscribe and maybe give it a little thumbs up. Helps for the channel. That's it for today, boys. See you on the next one.